the national leader of the All Progressive Congress and former Lagos State Governor, Valatino Bo, has confirmed that he went through a challenging health condition, seeing his physiotherapy was gruesome. Tinubu said this while addressing members of the House of Representatives, Northern Kakos, that visited him in London on Friday, according to Punch. The former governor, who had been in the United Kingdom for the last three months since undergoing new surgery, told the gathering, Because of God and people like you, I am well. It is just the official therapy that is gruesome. Since his dispatcher, pardon, Shinobu's London home has become a mecca of sorts as he has been visited by President Muhammad Buhari, the Speaker Femi Bajabi Amila, Governors Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano, Dakbo Abiodun of Ogun State, Babajide Sonwolo of Lagos, Rotimi Akaridolu on those states, and Kaiode Fayemi of Ekiti State. Sahara reporters had reported last week that Fayemi also confirmed that Tinobu had surgery recently and he, Fayemi, was in London to show solidarity. The governor had said he, Akaridolu, and I were in London, you know, Akaridolu and I, pardon, were in London together to see our leader, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinobu, but it had absolutely nothing to do with 2023 presidential plans whatsoever. That's not the reason why we went there. Asiwaju had just, you know, surgery. It is simply proper, adequate, or behavior both in the part of the country where I come from, but also generally that when a friend and elder is undergoing health challenges, it will be improper or on your part, pardon, not to show solidarity and support. That is simply what took us there. We wanted to associate ourselves with him at a time of need and as an elder, as a mentor and as a big figure in our political party. Nothing wrong is paying him a courtesy visit to check on him to see how he was faring and we did that and we returned. It has nothing to do with the 2023 presidential election. Let me make that absolutely clear. Tinobu's health has been a subject of controversy of late. President Muhammad Buhari also made a surprise visit to Tinobu in London where he was seen leaning on a walking stick. Sahara reporters had reported that Tinubu underwent a new surgery at the John Hopkins University Hospital in Maryland, United States. The APC chieftain, it had been learned, left the US for the United Kingdom on crushes a few days after the surgery. Sources disclosed, you know, sources who were close to Tinobu disclosed to Sahara reporters that he wanted the surgery in Paris, that is France, but changed his plans over rumor of his death. Tinobu had his second surgery at John Hopkins University in Maryland recently. He was accompanied by a popular Nigerian doctor in Chicago. He had wanted, you know, wanted, pardon, the surgery in Paris, but when rumor was in a rife about his death, he hurriedly left for Nigeria and went, you know, for Nigeria and went to John Hopkins, one of the sources had said. He left the US for the UK on crushes, another source revealed. Sahara reporters had on July 31st reported that Tinubu, who has had several medical trips this year alone, had a surgery about two weeks earlier and could be billed for another one. The APC national leader 
has been off official and party functions in the country for a while. I mean, it's talks that he's been positioned for the 2023 presidency to succeed the incumbent repressive regime of Buhari. Tinubu is hospitalized in Maryland, U.S. His health is failing. He couldn't participate in launching his Arawa library and he couldn't participate in the local government area elections last week. He could not attend today's APC Congress due to health reasons. He had a surgery last week, an authoritative source had disclosed. A few days after the story, photographs of Tinobu hosting Sonwolu in London surfaced, where the duo went seen together in a room. Reports have it that the meeting was held to put an end to the speculations surrounding the APC national leader's health status. In January 2021, Tinobu was also reported sick and hospitalized in Paris, France. Tinobu had earlier complained of exhaustion and traveled out to rest before the news of his collapse went viral. He was flown to Paris for medical attention in the first week of January. Sahara reporters had on June 15 reported that Tinobu was also in Paris battling with some old age ailments. Tinobu is in Paris, France, for a medical checkup. His health is deteriorating, old age and other stuff, but he still wants to be president. This could mean another medical tourism. Presidency for our country, a top source had at that time reviewed. What is your thought about this? Despite the current health status of Tinobu, despite his health is deteriorating, despite the old age and other stuff that is disturbing him, he still wants to be president. According to what we've heard, this could be another medical tourism presidency for our country. That was what a top source had at that time reviewed. What is your thought about this present situation of things? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reactions via the comment section on this that has been said. We have heard earlier in the news that the national leader of the All Progressive Congress and former Lagos State Governor Bola Tinobu has confirmed that he went through a challenging health condition, saying his physiotherapy was gruesome. What is your thought about this? And despite his old age, despite his deteriorating you know, health status, he still wants to contest for the you know, presidential election. He still wants to be president. We would like you to drop your thoughts on this plan development, but before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Yugu Gadzama reacted to this and said, Haba Tinobu, please go and rest and allow the younger ones to come up. You are completely a scrap. You know, you are completely a scrap value now. We don't need people like Buhari on that seat again. We Nigerians have already made our mistakes when making our choice of our president, you know, our presidential candidate, pardon, but we didn't want to repeat such a mistake again. You are too selfish, you are not healthy enough. You have been, you know, you have been in politics since 40 years ago. Please allow other people, other young ones, to come up, go and rest. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this that Gadzama have said? That Tinobu should go and rest. He is old. He has been in politics for over 40 years. You need to rest. Let other people come up. Let the youth come up. What is your reaction to this? What is your thought about this present situation of things? It is the same Bola Ahmed Tinobu that has promised building a world class hospital that will engage the best medical team in Nigeria. But what do we see him doing? We see him leaving Nigeria to other foreign countries to receive medical care. You know, all these things we are facing in Nigeria is as a result of bad leadership. It has been said so many times and we will continue to repeat it because that's the true fact. We would like you to